get started on your references, click Enter your guarantor details to access your reference form. You can visit our support page by clicking on the word here. You can close the pop-up by clicking OK. Type your details into each field. Please note that the stars denote a required field and must be filled in for the form to submit. You can search for your address by typing your postcode into the address lookup function and selecting your address from the drop-down menu. The address fields will fill in automatically. Alternatively, you can just type your address into those fields. You can also select your address status and time at this address by choosing the correct option from the drop-down menus. The next step is to upload a photo ID. Click on the Browse button and a set of options will appear. You can choose from photos you've already taken that are stored on your device, or to upload a photo directly by taking a new photo. Here I have chosen the Photo Library option. From here you can select Moments or Camera Roll and choose the photo you'd like to upload. You can tell if your photo has been uploaded successfully by the name appearing next to the Browse button. In the next section of the form you can declare any credit information you have that may be relevant to your application. To upload your bank statements, click the Browse button as before. This time I've selected Take Photo or Video. Take a clear photo of the documents you wish to upload. You can select Use Photo to use that photo or Retake to take a new photo. If you'd like to upload more statements, click Add another statement and repeat the process. You can choose your current employment status by selecting the option that best describes your situation. Please note that if you are entering your salary, do not include a comma as this will result in an invalid format. Start date of employment. Click on the box that says Enter start date of employment. A calendar will appear. You can browse this calendar by clicking on the arrows on the top left or right hand corner or by clicking on the month at the top middle of the screen. This will allow you to browse by month. You can also browse by year by clicking on the year in the top middle of the calendar again. You can fill in the rest of your employment details just by typing them into the boxes provided. If your employment is going to change in the near future, you can give those details here. Please do read the declaration before signing. You can draw your signature in the box provided or click the Type tab to type it. Then click the Submit button. Please ensure that you don't close the page as your guarantor agreement will be on the next page. From this page you can view your guarantor agreement and also the specifics of the tenancy agreement. First, click view guarantor agreement to open the guarantor agreement in a new page. You will then need to close the agreement. To close the agreement, click on the two overlapping boxes on the top right hand corner of the page. This will enable you to view what pages you have open in your internet browser. Here you can see the contract is on the right hand side. On the box on the right hand side, click the top left corner where there's an X to close it. This will leave just the form open on your internet browser. To go back to the form, click Done on the top right hand corner. Repeat the process with View Tenant Contract Draft. When you return to the form, you can draw your signature or type it as before. Then all that's left to do is click Submit. Thank you for watching this video, we hope it's been helpful.